Uh, the Miss Nevada pageant occurred recently, and a transgender won it for the first time in the pageant's history. I think that's fantastic. I think what clinched it was the talent portion when she wrote her name in the snow. <laughs> this dude is hilarious. This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com, get this shirt. On the website, link is in the description section. Put in discount code anti-groomer and you'll get 20% off the entire store. Go and take advantage of these opportunities. We are getting so much more uh, inventory that we're restocking on. So by the end of the week, probably Friday, we'll have everything back in stock. But go get this now. We have it available. And if somehow you get to the store and something is unavailable, just click notify when made available. We will send you an email as soon as we stock things. We normally stock things between one or two weeks. So go on to TatumStore.com. Get you some merch today. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notification anytime I go live and make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to this channel. Y'all already know what to do. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, I'm not going to say the guy's name. I don't even know his name. I'll figure it out later. I'll put, the, I'll put his name in the description section or something. But this was the funny, this is one of the funniest comedians that I have seen. I don't know how I've never heard of this guy. So apparently these jokes were banned from his particular skit that was put up on like one of these night shows. They literally banned these clips. Now, imagine what jokes he's about to tell that's worthy of banning. They didn't ban all his jokes. These are jokes that they banned from his stand-up. It's just the left is just, they're literally trying to use mind control to galvanize a certain opinion about the world. And if you dare tell jokes about their side, they will ban your jokes. But B. Tatum is going to play the banned jokes for everybody to see because it's worth watching. Roll the clip. Kamala Harris making history. First woman of Jamaican and Indian descent to be elected African-American. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, sexual identity is a big issue these days. And Disney of all corporations got caught up. And I can't believe it. Disney just doubled down. They announced they're making a feature film about a transgender whale. It's called Maybe Dick. <laughs> And the border wall obviously is a big issue. Uh, to show you how divided this country is, recent polls show that 40% of all Americans are for border wall, 40% are against a border wall, 20% said no comprende. <laughs> I gotta tell you, as an American, I don't care how Mexicans feel about a border wall because with enough time, they'll get over it. <laughs> if you see something, it's say hilarious. something. All right, if you see something, say something. You best believe I do. The other day I called 911. I was watching ESPN Women Swimming and I saw a suspicious package. <laughs> There's internet rumors right now that they're making a new Superman film. It's not a traditional Superman, as we all know. This will be a black Superman and it's not kryptonite that will harm him. No, it is Kardashian. <laughs> Uh, the Miss Nevada pageant occurred recently, and a transgender won it for the first time in the pageant's history. I think that's fantastic. I think what clinched it was the talent portion when she wrote her name in the snow. <laughs> there are oh, man, I thought it was more. You got to go watch it, the rest of it stand up. We'll put the link in the description section of what it's called. But I thought this was so funny. And it's funny how they ban these particular jokes. You start talking about the LGBTQ. You start talking about Kamala. And we all know she, she, she was the first... Let me tell you this real quick, and then we're going to move on. Kamala Harris was the first uh, Indian senator. She was sworn in as the first Indian uh, senator. She was not considered black. Her parents showed up in Indian garb. Not Indian, but Indian. Okay, maybe y'all get that. She, her parents showed up with Indian garb. She was the first Indian elected. Never once was she considered black. Never once did anybody say she was black. It, it is crazy that we live in a society where they literally rewrite history right in front of our eyes. And she's married to a white guy. She comes back on the scene. They reinvent Kamala Harris as a black woman. And then when she's on the campaign trail, she never brings her husband up. Nobody ever talk about Kamala Harris's husband. And then later down the road, people realize that she got a white husband. She do all of this woke stuff, all of this social justice stuff, and then she pretty much uh, married to the white supremacist or the, or the oppressed, the white privileged. It, it's just crazy how they do these things. But anyway, I thought this guy was funny. 
I don't know his name. I can look it up, but I saw this clip on the internet and I said, I have to do a video about it. I have to let y'all hear these jokes because they're hilarious. Like and subscribe to the channel. Y'all know what to do. I'm out. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, I put out three videos a day. So make sure you go to the uh, playlist that says new video and watch more videos. Subscribe to this channel. Let's go, baby.